Well, I think it was a mistake for me to come back here to Seattle. But I don't want to dwell on the negatives. This is still a very nice city, and the weather has been fantastic. Uh, when I first got into town, uh, it was a little hot, and I was kind of regretting my decision of coming back here just because I was trying to stay away from hot weather. But we are past the hot weather. Uh, most of the time, it's been just like this. Nice, sunny, uh, beautiful, just uh, fairly cool. Nice and cool at night. So not a lot to complain about, really. And I don't want to be negative. So I want to enjoy my time here since I drove up here. Might as well just enjoy my time. So I thought maybe I should do something touristy. Uh, I am in West Seattle right now. You might not believe this, but we are just west of downtown. And I thought that uh, maybe we should go to uh, Pike Place. That is the touristy thing to do. Now, I've been there before. And the one thing that I really don't enjoy about Seattle or any big city, to be honest, is driving in a big city. So I'm going to do what the locals do here uh, and take a little water taxi from West Seattle here over to downtown. So they leave a list of uh, scheduled times that you can jump on the ferry here. Uh, but it looks like they've changed things a little bit. You used to be able to just come over to this kiosk and buy a ticket. But now things have changed a little bit, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, I figured it out. Uh, apparently you have to download an app now uh, and pay that way, or you can pay cash, but you will have to have correct change. So I downloaded the app. W once you buy your ticket, you just show the ticket on the app, apparently. Um, it's all new to me. So the app ended up being pretty easy to figure out. Uh, tickets are $5.75. Uh, you can pay with cash, like I said before, but you need correct change. So it might be easier just to use the app like I did. And I bought both tickets to go over and back since I was in the app anyway, buying them. And now we're just going to wait for departure. Welcome aboard the Cape County Water Test. In the unlikely event of an emergency, follow all instructions from our crew. Like I opted to sit up here, uh, but uh, it's a little windy. Good thing it's a nice day out. I should point out that spending $11 to go round trip on a water taxi to come downtown might seem a little bit expensive, except that parking down here in downtown Seattle is usually quite a bit more. So I opt to do the water taxi because I really don't like driving down here. And finding a parking spot too can be a little bit troublesome. Now let's see, I haven't done this in a while. I need to figure out which way I'm going. planning on taking the water taxi and walking to Pike Place Market, it is a bit of a walk. Now, I don't mind the walk at all. Normally, I spend my day walking around quite a bit, so it's a regular day of walking for me, but if you are averse to walking, this might not be the best way to get to Pike Place. I was complaining about not wanting to drive my tiny little van in a busy city. But look at that, full-size bus and towing a trailer. 
That is something I would never do in a million years. So I find this a little bit funny. People come here from all over, stand in this big huge line to get coffee at this Starbucks, thinking that it's the first original Starbucks, but it's not. The original Starbucks burned down years ago. This is just a Starbucks here at Pike Place. But they don't like anybody to really know that. And obviously anybody that knows me knows that I wouldn't stand in a long line for Starbucks. I wouldn't even stand in a short line for Starbucks. We can do much better. No, I am not a big fan of Starbucks. Uh, I'm not hating on it, you know, uh, a lot of people like it, I, it's just not my thing. Uh, but I do like Beecher's handmade cheese here. This is a local cheese shop that is fantastic. Usually the line is much longer for this place. I'm actually a little bit torn looking at the short line to Beecher's here and the fact that it is lunchtime. Should I go stand in line? Maybe I should. I'm a long ways away from the van and my own kitchen. And this is a good shop to get something to eat. I'm gonna do it, especially because that line is getting longer. I decided to come out here to eat lunch because I'm getting kind of a sensory overload. The great thing about the city here is there is just tons of great restaurants and uh, coffee shops as well around here. The bad thing about the city is it's loud, it's noisy, it's busy. And uh, my brain doesn't work too well with busy stuff anymore. I, uh, I've been wanting to get out into the woods and uh, get out of the city and then here I'm back in the city here today but um, I'm thinking I might be just about at my limit here so it might be time just to uh, take a slow wander back to the van. Before I go too far though I do want to uh, get a cup of coffee because like I said there's a lot of great coffee shops around here so I think we will take uh, the scenic route. Um, hopefully I don't regret this but if I don't take the scenic route, probably some of you will get after me. Um, it's gonna be a bit disgusting for me and maybe for you too. I apologize in advance. So this is Post Alley, and it's better known as the gum wall. As you can see, every square inch of the wall back here is plastered with ABC gum you know, already been chewed. I told you it was going to be a little disgusting for both of us, didn't I? Well, I don't really enjoy the gum wall all that much, so I just walked quickly through it. And now to uh, cleanse our palate. Uh, remember that I said that we could do much better when it came to uh, coffee versus the uh, Starbucks back there? Let's see if we can do that now. to how quiet it is down here. I've never been here in the city with this little traffic. I wonder if that's the new normal or what. 
I mean, I have been gone a couple of years, but I just find this shocking. So I said we can do better, and this is it. Storyville Coffee. Oh no, it's closed. This location is closed down. They do have another location in Pike Place, and I was thinking of going there, but I just thought, well, I'd get away from the busy, crowded area. And this was on the way back to the ferry. Um, do I want to walk all the way back to Pike Place for a cup of coffee? I think I do. I'm here. And like I was saying before, I like to walk. So just about a third of a mile. Uh, so I guess I'll just walk back. I'm just now noticing that there's a place directly across the street here that I used to get coffee, and they're closed up too. It's a shame. Okay, that was a short walk back. Now I just need to remember where it is. It's been so long. Okay, there it is. My memory is like a steel trap. I think a great word to describe this place is fanciful. It's a little bit like uh, if Disney decided to do a coffee shop. The thing about Storyville is all their cafes are beautiful, but their coffee is just fantastic too. That's the thing that I like. I mean, if the cafe is beautiful, that's one thing, but it's got to have a really tasty coffee, and they do. They have some of the best coffee in Seattle, in my opinion. Uh, certainly better than uh, that place just down the block, who I won't mention again. Now I'm ready to go back to the water taxi. Okay, making our way back to the water taxi. Hey look, Storyville Coffee. Maybe I should get another cup. All right, this one's closed. Well, this coffee was excellent. Uh, Storyville I highly recommend, um, but it is a little warm out today, and probably a warm coffee was not the best idea. Um, I brought my backpack today. I should have brought some water with me. Sometimes I don't think ahead. I, I normally stay pretty close to my van, and I don't have to think ahead. I just pop back to the van and get what I need. But today has ended up being a bit of an expensive day. Uh, eating lunch out wasn't cheap. This cup wasn't cheap. Um, oh well, you gotta treat yourself once in a while, I guess. So it looks like I'm a little early, so I guess I'll have to wait in line a little bit. Well, that's okay on such a beautiful day. here to the uh, bow of the ship, is that right? Or boat? Is this a ship or a boat? See, I know nothing about these kinds of things. But I like this spot because uh, you get a good view out the front, although it is a little windy. So thinking about this, this water taxi is the Doc Maynard, and I think that every time I've taken the water taxi, it's been this same boat or ship. I don't know. Somebody's going to get after me because I don't know about these things. But uh, yeah, I think I've ridden the Doc Maynard every time I've taken the water taxi anywhere. And I know they have more than one because there is the Spirit of Kingston over there. And I think they have another one, at least one more as a backup. 
not exactly sure, but it's just odd that I always end up taking the same water taxi. See, I'm thinking about the last time I took the water taxi. It was late in the evening. I think it was the last taxi back from Seattle to West Seattle. And it was really stormy that night, kind of rainy and really windy. And I was sitting inside, in kind of the center of the boat, and I was feeling seasick, believe it or not. It, it was really rough. Uh, and I just remember thinking, this is not so much fun. But usually, I enjoy this uh, little crossing. It's, uh, it's just a fun little, fun little trip to take. I don't know why I find taking the water taxi just so enjoyable, but whenever it's done, I just want to jump up and down like a little kid and say, you know, again, again. Uh, but I think twice is enough for one day. So I'm gonna head home here now. You know what I am noticing? It is so much quieter. It's so much more peaceful over here in West Seattle than it is across the Sound downtown. I really like this neighborhood. A lot better. You know, it's funny, I started off this morning thinking that coming back here to Seattle was a mistake. But after today, I don't know, I think uh, not so bad. I uh, am enjoying my time a little bit more now. Uh, today was really nice. Uh, I had several people uh, strike up conversations with me. Uh, everybody just seemed to be really friendly. Uh, like I was mentioning, the city was not very busy today, at least not like I've uh, experienced in the past. So just been a peaceful day uh, and a really good day. So I'm feeling a lot better about being back here in Seattle. The only thing is lunch was a little bit expensive. That tiny little bit of mac and cheese was quite costly. Uh, so was that cup of coffee I bought. So I think uh, I'll uh, go home and Maybe just eat leftovers for the next couple of days, clean out the fridge, balance out the uh, spending today. Uh, but I don't regret one thing today. This has been just a marvelous day. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Here we are, home sweet home.